Hey everyone, if your quick set lock handle is upside down, so the jagged part of the key is facing down, that's probably not the best for it uh, security wise and wear and tear, uh, lots of the reasons why. But this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All right, so this actually may have be something that if you watch my channel, this might be something you've already seen from a previous video when I was installing the lock, but this is going to be a video dedicated to just fixing the upside down key cylinder. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you how to fix that. And you know what? I just noticed our lock is upside down. Let's, so because this is a right side door, this is uh this is gonna leave our key upside down and that leaves it more vulnerable to um, getting stuck because the pins are on this side so it gets dust and grime down in there which makes it more difficult for your keys it also makes it easier for a pick to get in there and uh, get things unlocked so we want it to be this way but the problem is this guy is on the wrong side of everything so I'm gonna do a quick cut here to show you how to change that out. All right, so there's a few ways to do this. You can actually buy a tool from Quickset to uh, take all this stuff out and swap this around easily. However, uh, I don't wanna spend the $12 for that tool, and you can do it with these. These are my two longest and skinniest flathead screwdrivers, as well as a Phillips driver, or basically any tool that has a little bit of a bigger, rounder piece with a point on the end-ish and some pliers. So, first thing we're gonna do is take a look at this side here. We have this brass plate here. So this brass plate has a bend down on one side. It looks like this side is our dog ear where it bends down. And then on this side, if you look, it's got this little tab that if you come in from the side, you can actually depress it, just like that, pushing it in that way. So I'm actually gonna take my screwdriver and shove it in there, and I'm gonna shove it in like that, so now it's actually holding it out. So what that does is it opens a little door over here, so now we can take this guy, and we'll align this nub with that section there, and then with your pliers, this should be pretty easy, it should come right out. Next, leaving this screwdriver in, will go down into the hole. There's two tabs on either side. There's one on this wall, and then there's one on this wall here. So what you'll do is you'll come in, and you'll push until you feel that, and then you're gonna kind of push a little bit more to kind of, it, it's got, there's two tabs, and you're sliding in behind the tab, and then you wanna release it. There's a, a, a latch that you're pushing in past. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the front side here. This gets a little tricky, because you already got a screwdriver in there. This is why you want your longest and skinniest ones. Oh, and I feel it. So, and it just popped out. So what we're doing is actually pushing these two tabs in here. We're shoving our screwdriver there and there. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and slide this guy back in. It's all spring-loaded, so it should just click into place. Make sure that that little tag there is flush with the surface of this, just like it is. And then now, we can just go install the knob and then slide this in in whatever orientation we need. So just make sure that that tab is set up correctly and we're good to go. Back to the door. All right, now we have our knob without the key in it as well as our lock end. And we can just slide this guy in. Now, just like before, we'll use these little latch ends to slide it on and then tighten it. So there's a D-shaped section right here. You wanna make sure that that matches up with the D-shaped se section here. Here. We'll then twist this, push it forward, and then slide it down on top of those screws. There we go. Now you can see those screws are sticking out just a little bit. We'll use a Phillips head screwdriver to screw it in. And then once it's secure, this frame part shouldn't wiggle up and down. And now we'll simply take our lock, and now that we, since we had to pull it out, we'll just throw it right in, make sure it's at the right orientation, and push it in until it clicks. We can turn our little latch here and unlocked, locked. Super easy. 
All right, you guys, and that is pretty much it. That is how to switch or flip the key cylinder on a quick set door handle. Um, if you have additional questions, leave those in the comments below. I'll also leave links for this door handle as well as a playlist to the full series of all of the security upgrades I've done to my home here. That is the tutorial on how to switch over the key cylinder in your lock. Um, hopefully it's explanatory enough that you'll understand how it works and uh, that you don't always need the exact tool that Quickset sells as well as like you can work with other tools so you don't actually have to use uh, screwdrivers like I did. I saw somebody use, do a video, I think this person just used a uh, uh, nails. She just found some really long nails and was able to shove those in behind those two tabs and then push the whole lock cylinder out and then flip it over and then it just slides right back in. Super easy. If you have questions, leave those in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you have recommendations uh, for a future video, please also leave those in the comments below. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to help support this channel, go ahead and use those Amazon links down below. Uh, go ahead and click on those and you can do your Amazon shopping from there with no additional cost to you. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.